studio. So this is a ring <laughs> jug. And, you know, they're kind of now, they're just decorative. So they have the two little handles on the side to put a cord or a, a leather strap through. Um, and I, you know, they could be used for water, they could be used for wine, they could be yeah. used for cider, <laughs> and just put a cork. Okay, a cork. so I'm gonna start by centering the, oh, well, five and a half pounds, so. And these, I think they're, I think they're, depending upon how you glaze them, or whether you just glaze the inside, if you do mm -hmm. something with the outside and maybe mm -hmm. put some slip decoration, or something like that on it, uh, you could, just glaze the inside in case somebody wants to take it off the wall and use it. Or don't have to glaze it at all. Glazing it would be would be tough. I mean, think about where would you glaze it and how would you glaze it because trying to stand it on that little lip would be tough. I've never glazed one except for the inside. And I hardly ever make these. They're just a fun form. Next month, there is no second Saturday because I'll be in Florida visiting Mama. Nice. And, uh, nice. yeah. yeah, I need to make a long trip down there. Okay, so just center the clay. And then go all the way to the wheel head. Kind of gummy this morning. Open it up. And you said you're all the way to the wheel head? Mm -hmm. All the way to the wheel head, except I do have a little skin of clay down here, which I'm going to get rid of. And the little, I, I bring it out with that little bit of clay because then it doesn't wobble. Um, if you, I mean, or you could um, simply center it lower and wider, which would help also. But I just get rid of the clay in the middle. Maybe it was too cold for Teresa to come out today. Mm. I know, she, she told me yesterday she'd be here. It was 12 degrees this morning when I left. Was it? 12. That was the high. I thought it was going to be even colder, but I guess it's going to wrap like a work. Yeah. That's why and I have some friends who are ski deprived. I have, as I said, mm -hmm. so arthritis too. <laughs> You're going to so be out there, I'm pretty you know, sure. The <laughs> no matter what. So it yep. up and down. Right. So, Okie yeah. doke. So now we're all set. So we've got this centered. I've got it opened up. And I'm going to, I think, open it up just a tad more so I can get this one on my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to put the hole. I don't put the hole exactly in the middle. I, it's just a tiny bit towards the center. And the reason is because I don't bring the inside wall up as much as the outside wall. So the hole is a little bit towards Oops. the center. Okay. Oh, so you're, oh, so you're just going down and making another I'm making break. up. Yeah, 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 gotcha. Yeah. Now I know what you're doing. <laughs> Take well, you're at Barbara. Yeah. <laughs> at least you're is awake. <laughs> yeah. So then I'm going to go down here and make the hole. Okay, so the hole. Is hole, but it's it's just I've I've opened I've gone down. Oh yeah. Right okay. So, so you're just making creating. So my first ring. hole is here. Okay. Yeah. Right. Second right. hole is okay, here, yeah, and yeah. now I'm going to bring up this wall and this and wall. Meet it. Right. Like I can remember. You. I go at the bottom is half to three quarters of an inch okay. on the bottom. And then I'm going to open open it up just a tiny bit, mm -hmm. about an inch, inch and a half. I don't want it to start wobbling. So I'm going to open this up like this. Clean up the bottom because there's little, little things in there. And then I'm going to start, and I'm doing this with my left thumb. I'm just bringing the wall of the outside up. And you can already see I have kind of a bunt pan. Yeah. <laughs> then to, I'm going to avoid the inside 
the outside wall and I'm going to come in and just start bringing this mm -hmm. inside wall up pretty much just straight up right now when I get to the top I'm going to angle it out just a little bit so that's the direction I want it to go so that has to be higher than the outside right now okay. right now uh, I actually bring the outside it's a great question here I I will bring the outside wall up just almost just as high and then I'm going to bring them up taller than I want and then bring them down together oh. So what I want to make sure, once I trap, once I close this, mm -hmm. I've trapped air inside and I can work a little bit with the shape of the roundness here. But until I do that, it gets a little wobbly. So I want to, I leave this wall on the bottom outside a little thick. It's probably a little bit more than half an inch. And I'm gonna bring this up. and slightly in at the top. And you see, I can kind of walk them in. I walk this one out, I walk this one in so that um, it doesn't collapse. So I just start bringing this out, start bringing this one in until they just start to go together. Now, now, that's not true. They will, now see how square it is, and you can definitely see where the uh, seam is. Oop, that one doesn't, that doesn't like that. I'm going to open it back up. Oh, it's got a little mouth. It's cute. <laughs> here. Yeah. Well, now that I've done it several times the last few days, it doesn't want to do it. All right. Sorry. <laughs> we'll cut it off. This happens sometimes. Sorry, Barbara. No, it's good to see these things yes. as well. Mm -hmm. yep. Not a fix. Not a really? fix. Not a Thank fix. You. For doing, for showing us that. Not a problem. I meant to do this. <laughs> <laughs> if you believe of, that. It was fun and planned. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Take it out. <laughs> Let's clean this up a little bit. There we go. Okay, now let's start again. So uh, this one obviously is thin down here, so we're going to do it a little different. We're going to put this over just a tiny bit, and then we're going to collapse this one right onto it and hope that that will work. If not, I've got five more panels of clay over there. <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody know any history of the ring jugs? I call them ring jars, but they're really ring jugs. Yeah, I don't. Now, I've seen pictures of them, but I don't know the history of them. There we go. Amazing fix. <sighs> it's just like, does it work? See, I would never have been able to fix it. Oh, you don't know. It's it's patience it's, is a virtue, the baby. <laughs> patience. I'm working on patience, uh, but you know. I taught reading. You have to be patient to teach reading. And patience. Is I good. learned it. It was ingrained into me. <laughs> okay, so now I've got it closed. Any? Can you think of anything else I need to do? Oh no, you can't put a hole in there. Now, now that I've got it closed, what else should I do, Harriet? Any ideas? What would you do? You can shape it the way you want it. 
I could shape it. Although I, I kind of like the that shape. It's good, not though. so bad. I mean, no. yeah, it's got nice. some rings on it. You have to decide, like, this is the point at which you decide, do I want to decorate it on the outside? If I want to decorate it, I want it smooth. Yeah. I don't want any ridges on it. So that's one consideration. But before I even consider that, the most important thing I found from making several of these, I don't know how many I've made, but it isn't that, that many. But the one thing I do is I keep in my mind, where is that join? And that join is right here. And I will go back and forth across that join about okay. six times. That's the one thing. You don't want to just close it up and leave it. You want to go back and forth about six times. That will really get that clay mixed back and forth. And it means that the chances of it popping are so much less. One of the times before I felt like it was really, really melded together. So I'll go this way and then back up this way and just back and forth a number of times. Now, they could still pop. I mean, I can still see, and I'll, I'll hold it up, I can still see the join line here. Mm -hmm. You see that? Mm -hmm. It's just very faint, mm -hmm. but it's there. And as it dries, if I didn't, I always cover these, but if I didn't cover it, it could very simply, one of these just kind of pop back open. So, I mean, and it pays, wow. this is where, like you said, Kathy, the patience comes in. I'm holding it just slightly over here, and then I just bring this back and forth. Are you using any compression, or are you just? A tiny bit, basically. Of this. So what I'm doing is just holding my hand here and coming. In a way, are you trying to overlap it a little bit? I'm the, exactly, that's exactly what I'm trying to do, okay. is just kind of overlap so that there is no definite, there's no little line there. Where, and occasionally I'll, um, I might even rough it up a little bit to um, kind of clean it up. And, and I can push some pressure, put some pressure by coming in this way with my trusty clothespin. So as I come in this way and I'm pushing with my inside hand, it's putting mm -hmm. a little pressure. If it's going to pop open, it'll pop open now. And it didn't. So that's pretty much my clue that it's it's pretty safely closed. So now I'm going to take um, my sponge and then I come around here and I use my rib and just in case because I want to try my um, air tool again with some slip in the next couple weeks so I will just get rid of some of the ridges because I'll probably use some slip on this. And then I use my little um, angle tool. And this is one thing because trimming it, it's not hard to trim this. It's just that when you trim it, um, it's hard to get all the way, it completely in a circle. Like this one is kind of squared off. And I don't mind the square off so much because it'll lay against the wall, I guess, a little bit better. But I just take my tool, clean this up under here. The cleaner a pot is, I think, that's one thing I have a little bit of trouble. I always teach my beginning students, clean your pot up, you'd be so much happier. Although the beginning students don't seem to mind when they get their pots back and they're rough, but as they progress, they mind. Send piece. <laughs> so I just put, Thank if you. you don't put the hole in now, as it dries, like I put this in last evening when I made this, mm -hmm. if I had not, I could have come back in today and found a crack somewhere. Ah. And I may not have seen the crack until I turn it over, because ah. the crack may be underneath, it wow. could be at the seam. Uh, so I just put my needle tool in and just go around in a circle, make a little hole. And to take this and go under here, I'm, I don't do it on, I usually do it on the table, but I'm going to do it here and just go underneath. So now that one is made and it will just sit aside.